Hello, this video will show you some tips and tricks of using 5D Chart Admin from Microsoft Excel. So, let's get started. First, I would like to know that when you create data sheets in 5D Chart, each data sheet is actually linked to your original data. So, as you can see here, it's linked to the initial selection. So when you change your original data, uh, the charting data set also gets changed. Each data sheet contains all the settings for look and feel of the chart. So you can play around and create different charts for your original data. So, for example, this is view number one. And the second view will change some bits. Uh, please note another tip that you can regenerate chart without closing the preview window. So change some settings here and remove some things and create projections to the let's leave it So I just click Regenerate Chart and get some data. And the initial chart remained the same. Another new feature in 5D chart is, is that you can hide some items and create sequences with that feature. For example, in each one we would like to show only first first five bubbles. So we click Regenerate Chart and we see these five bubbles. And we would like to create a slideshow, for example, in Microsoft PowerPoint. And we could click Save Image, like Sequence 1. And then, without closing this window, we activate other bubbles. Click Regenerate and save another one. So we have two images perfectly synchronized with point of view and other settings, and we can paste this in our presentations or create animations with these frames. Um, actually, all items in this 5D chart sheet can be customized. For example, I would like to show you how, how to create a custom color scheme for your items. For example, we would like to show that items greater than two in green and no, no greater than four in green and other in blue. So let's do it. It can be done with conditional formatting, with custom rules. We click use formula, 
select the size. It means now that we will need relative formula. And greater than greater than three. Color green. Okay. Still formatting only. We don't need to change the value of the opacity. And let's preview what we got here. So the bigger bubbles became green and you can use whatever formula is needed to represent your data the best way. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.